asking and giving directions in Spanish, pidiendo y dando direcciones en español. Hola! In this video, you will learn different ways to ask for directions in Spanish, how to use prepositions of place for references, and some basic verbs and phrases to give directions in Spanish. At the end, you will see examples of conversations using everything in the video. Let's begin! Ways to ask for directions in Spanish Formas de preguntar direcciones To ask for directions in Spanish, we often use the verb estar, to be in Spanish. The questions follow the structure, donde esta, plus a place in Spanish, and donde están, plus places. For example, donde está el hospital, donde están los bancos, donde está is very common, but you can also ask using the verb quedar, which could be translated as stay in Spanish. The questions follow the structure, donde queda, plus a place, or donde quedan, plus places. For example, donde queda el hospital, donde quedan los bancos. A more casual way to ask would be using the verb llegar in the structure, como llego a, plus a place. For example, como llego al hospital. Let's review the questions to ask for directions in Spanish. They are, donde esta, donde queda, and como llego a. Prepositions of place for directions in Spanish. Just like in English, in Spanish it is common to use a place as a reference to reach another. The prepositions you will need for giving directions in Spanish are Junto a, next to, junto a la escuela, junto al hotel. Notice that we say junto al, no junto a el, because when we use a plus the article el in Spanish, we change it to al. Detrás de, behind, detrás de la escuela, detrás del hotel. Again, we say detrás del, no detrás de él, because when we use de plus the article el in Spanish, we change it to del. En, sobre, en la calle central, sobre la calle central, en medio de, entre, en medio del cine y el hotel, entre la escuela y el banco, frente a, en frente de, frente al supermercado, en frente del hospital. Let's review the pronunciation of these prepositions. Junto a, detrás de, en, sobre, en medio de, entre, frente a y en frente de. Giving directions in Spanish, dando direcciones en español. The sentences for directions in Spanish generally use the verbs estar, quedar, and haber. Estar and quedar mean to be for this purpose. Haber is used in its form I as you would use there is or there are in English. We use estar this way. A place plus estar often conjugated as esta or están, a preposition plus a place of reference. Here are some examples. ¿Dónde está la escuela? La escuela está junto al banco. ¿Dónde está el hospital? El hospital está enfrente del hotel. You can also see that we use the question ¿Dónde está? to ask for directions. In the first example, the place is la escuela. The verb is está, the preposition is junto al, and the place of reference is banco. We give directions in Spanish using quedar this way. Place plus quedar, often conjugated as queda or quedan, plus a preposition plus a place of reference. This is an example. ¿Dónde queda el banco? El banco queda en medio del hotel y el supermercado. Since we are talking about just one place, El banco, we must say el banco queda, not el banco quedan, and then add the direction. Quedan is used for several places. For this sentence, we use the preposition en medio de and the words hotel and supermercado as places of reference. We use haber in its form I for directions this way. I, conjugation of haber, plus un or una, plus a place, plus a preposition, plus a place of reference. Here are some examples. Hay una escuela detrás del cine. Hay un hotel al lado del supermercado. Remember that I is how we say there is and there are in Spanish. We use un instead of el after I when we refer to a masculine noun like hotel. For example, hay un hotel. On the contrary, if it is a feminine noun like escuela, we use una. Talking about distance in Spanish, la distancia entre lugares. It is common to use a word cuadra or block in Spanish for a distance of 100 meters. We use the word cuadra following this structure. Place plus queda or está plus a plus number of blocks plus cuadra or cuadras 
plus de plus place of reference. Here are some examples. La farmacia queda a 5 cuadras de la biblioteca. El parque está a 3 cuadras del restaurante. You can also say the specific distance in meters, yards, and so on. For example, el hotel está a 100 metros de la farmacia. Cardinal points in Spanish for directions. Los puntos cardinales. In many countries, it is common to use cardinal points to indicate where a place is located. They are norte, sur, este, and oeste. You may add them to the sentences after saying the distance. For example, la farmacia queda a 5 cuadras al norte de la biblioteca. El parque está a 3 cuadras al este del restaurante. El hotel está a 100 metros al sur de la farmacia. Hay un hospital a 150 yardas al oeste de mi casa. Three important verbs and some phrases in Spanish. Some important verbs for directions are Seguir, to go on, girar, to turn, and caminar, to walk. If you want to be formal, you can use them like this. Siga, gire, and camine. If you want to sound casual, then use them like this. Sigue, gira, camina. If you use the verb girar, you will also need the expressions a la izquierda, to the left, and a la derecha, to the right. Here are some examples. Sigue tres cuadras al norte. El hotel está frente al restaurante. Para llegar a la tienda de ropa, camine 250 metros al este del restaurante, luego gire a la izquierda y siga 100 metros más. The phrase para llegar a means to get to in Spanish. You can also use the words cerca and lejos in Spanish to talk about the distance between places. Conversations about directions in Spanish. Pidiendo y dando direcciones. Here are two examples of simple conversations in Spanish using some of the phrases and words for directions we have covered in this video. Hola, ¿dónde está el parque? El parque está frente al Hotel Arcos. Siga recto tres cuadras y luego gire a la derecha y camine otras cuatro cuadras. Muchas gracias. Disculpa, ¿cómo llego al restaurante Delicias? El restaurante Delicias está cerca del supermercado. Queda frente a la oficina de correos. Para llegar hacia aquí, solo camine cuatro cuadras al este. ¿Hay alguna tienda cerca del restaurante? Sí, hay varias tiendas sobre la misma calle. Gracias, que tengas un buen día. We finished. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more. Hasta pronto.